Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and if you love chile rellenos, but maybe haven't quite mastered how to make them, or you think they take too long to make, you're gonna love today's recipe because I'm making a chile relleno bake, or you may call it a chile relleno casserole. Either way, it's all the same wonderful ingredients that you love, but much easier to make. Normally when I make chile rellenos, I always use hatch green chili and I stuff them with cheese and onion and that's it. But today I'm gonna to do something different and I'm going to be using poblano chilies uh, because these are available year round and they're much easier to find and I wanna make sure that you make this recipe. So you'll need about six to eight, just depends on how much you want to make. And since they are fatter, uh, it's a perfect opportunity to stuff them with a little more than just the uh, cheese and the onion. So today, I'm I'm going to cook up some chorizo and also include that in there. But uh, you can use ground beef or you can just leave it out altogether and just stick to the cheese and the onion. I've already got my onion diced and then you'll need about a pound of the shredded melting cheese of your choice. I'm gonna be using a combination of Oaxaca and Monterey Jacks. And then for the batter, you'll need six eggs, half a cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, and one cup of milk, preferably whole. So let's go ahead and get started. We first need to roast and peel the chili, and you can do this a number of ways. I'm going to place them in the top rack of my oven and it's set to broil. After a few minutes, I flip them over to make sure the skin gets blistered on all sides. Then I take them out and immediately place them in a plastic bag and let them sit for 10 minutes or so so that the steam loosens the skin, making them easier to peel. While they're steaming, I'll cook the chorizo on the stovetop. I just put it in a hot skillet and break it up as it cooks. Then I take it off the burner to let it cool and even use a paper towel to remove some of the excess grease. Now back to the chili. They've been steaming 10 minutes and even though they're still a bit hot to handle, I'm on a mission to get them peeled and seeded as quickly as possible. Unlike regular rellenos, you definitely have to cut off the stem on these. Using a knife also makes it easier to remove the seeds. You know, as I do this, it occurred to me that peeling the uh, chili is really tedious. And so this really is the most time consuming part of this recipe, even though it is much easier than uh, making regular rellenos, you still can't uh, really skip this step if you're gonna be roasting your own chili. So I, I realized that they also sell whole chili in a can about this big and they've already got the stems removed and they're already peeled and the whole bit. So that would save a whole lot of time. I just, I've never bought it before, so I'm not sure what kind of chili it is. I'm assuming it's Anaheim chili, so that, that should be good. It's not hatched chili, I don't think, but uh, it should still be really good if you wanna save another step and make this recipe that much easier. And now that these are all peeled and seeded, I can make the batter. For this, I grab a large mixing bowl and a smaller bowl so I can separate the egg whites from the yolks. I put the whites in the larger bowl and the yolks in the smaller one. Then I use an electric hand mixer to beat the whites until fluffy enough to form stiff peaks. Next, I add the salt and the milk to the egg yolks and mix to combine. Then I slowly add in the flour a little at a time while continuing to whisk. Whisk. 
When the flour is all incorporated into the yolk mixture, I then gently fold it into the egg whites and mix with the spatula because I want the batter to stay as airy as possible. Once combined, grease a baking dish with non-stick cooking spray, then pour a thin layer of the batter into the bottom of the dish, and begin stuffing the chilies. I start with plenty of shredded cheese, followed by a spoonful of chorizo. I almost forgot the diced onion. Thankfully, it's not a big deal. I just reopen the chilies and sprinkle them in. Problem solved. Now that everything is set in the baking dish, I pour the rest of the egg batter on top and spread it out as evenly as possible. Finally, sprinkle the top with more shredded cheese, then I place it in the oven to bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Ooh, look at that. When it comes out of the oven, it's golden brown around the edges and looks beautiful. Just be sure to let it set for 8 to 10 minutes so it holds together when you cut into it. I am so ready to cut into this and give it a try. This is so beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, this is so good. You know, if given the choice, I will choose hatched chili every time. But this with poblano peppers is also very, very good. And the chorizo gives it a nice little boost to the flavor as well. Cheese is all melted and it's just the egg is fluffy and it's just super delicious like a chile relleno. I think you're really gonna like this recipe. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my recipes. I also invite you to follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.